Hey everybody, it's Jen. Happy December 1st. I'm actually not sure when this video will go up, but as I'm filming it, it is December 1st. And I am so excited to do this video today because I am unboxing a very special Christmas parcel sent to me from all the way across the pond from my amazing friend, Karen, who lives in London, England. This is the third year in a row we have done this international gift exchange. I cannot wait to see what's in this box and I'm really glad you're here. Karen is my great friend, Karen B. If you have not checked out her channel, make sure you go and do it. She has been doing so many amazing weekly vlogs and she's participating in Vlogmas, which I am not participating in, but I give more power to her. You will love her channel if you love Disney, if you love everything British as I do. She's also originally from Dublin, Ireland. So, you know, there's just a lot to love there and she's just a really high quality person. So definitely make sure you check out her channel. I'm not sure when she is going to put up her unboxing of my gift to her. Um, you know, usually we coordinate things, but it's 2020 and so, you know, <laughs> That's my excuse for everything right now. It's 2020. So, you know, if you're showing up at all, you're doing great. So this is the box. I'm gonna pull it in front so you guys can see how huge it is. This is my head. This is the box. It is ginormous and it weighs a ton. So I don't even know what is in here. I promise you I am doing this completely like unscripted. Um, where did my scissors go? Case in point. I don't know where my scissors went. Hang on, the scissors. Okay, let's open this up. I'm always trying to be really <laughs> careful. She's like I am. I'm like, I would rather, did I just cut myself? No, I didn't. Although that would have made for great television. I um, I always really box or uh, tape it really, really well too because these boxes have made quite the journey. That is no small amount of travel. This box has done way more air travel than I have this year. <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. Congratulations, box. You got to travel. Okay. I just, can we just pause for a minute? All right, before I get into the things, we have to talk for a second because, oh, I just broke my pen. Oh, well. Um, Karen and I first met at least three years ago. I think it's going, I, yeah, I guess it was three years ago. We connected because we both had YouTube channels, but it turned out that we are like kindred spirits. And I am technically kind of old enough to be her mom, but I like to think of myself as just, you know, a really great big sister. And her parents, um, I'm actually closer to her parents' age than I am to her age, but I've also gotten to know her parents. I'm actually planning a trip to Dublin, Ireland to not stay with them, I'll be in a hotel, but to visit them and to see Dublin. I cannot wait for that. Come on vaccine. That literally is going to be my first trip. So Catherine and Declan, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm excited. And, um, Every, the first year that we did this, we didn't know each other that well. And as we've gotten to know each other more, unboxing these boxes has become, well, not the unboxing part really, but the shopping for her has become such a fun part of my holiday season. And um, it, it was just, it was kind of emotional for me as I was shopping for her, thinking how much our friendship has grown. So Anyway, if you want to see my unboxings from the previous years, I will put a link to, to those down in the description box, uh, as well as a few times that Karen and I have gone live with her friend, Natasha. They're getting ready to launch a new like podcasty YouTube type series. So definitely make sure you go and check that out. And you know, I say this all the time, but it's one of those things about YouTube that I never could have expected happening, but I've really gained friends that feel like family to me now. So. All right, let's get into the stuff. That's what you're here for. You're here for me to open the stuff. Okay, let me see if I can like tilt this so you guys can see. The very first thing that I'm seeing is some amazing Cadbury chocolate. Um, I think some of you know that uh, a lot of English people, and I think Irish people too, think that Hershey's chocolate does not taste so good. And Cadbury, of course, is such a quintessential British brand. So the very first thing I'm opening up are these Jacob's Elite Chocolate Kimberly. Now, I've never heard of a chocolate Kimberly before, but 
Per tradition when I do these videos, I usually will taste a few things as I go. And I can see there's marshmallow. So let's open that up and see what we think. This video may have to be in two parts, especially because I'm not sure that I can sample as many things as I know. Oh, they're individually wrapped, so that's good. Chocolate Kimberly Elite, this is what it looks like. This is turning into like the slowest <laughs> unboxing in the world. <gasps> oh my gosh, yum. Okay, let's try a bite of this. Oh my God, it's like a Malamar. But it's like a, oh my God. Okay, I'll show you guys. It's got marshmallow and gingerbread. That's what it tastes like to me is gingerbread. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's amazing. That screams the holidays. Like that flavor right there to me, that marshmallow gingerbread. Does it say these have gingerbread in them? Yeah, ginger flavored biscuits with a mallow center smothered in milk chocolate. All right, there's nothing in the world wrong with that. We are off to a fabulous start. Now I'm not gonna finish that because she's famous for putting a lot of food in here and I don't wanna get a sick tummy. So I may not sample everything right now, just be aware. All right, the next thing that I am pulling out and socks. I love cozy socks so much. These are m and I'm, I think she probably, um, she probably got these at Primark. Maybe not. Let's see if they say they're from Primark on the back. It doesn't say, that's weird. Anyway, um, these are m and with love, super soft bed socks. Now, um, it is finally getting cold here. It was actually 27 when I woke up this morning and I do get very, very cold feet. And it makes me think of like old uh, novels where they would have those um, hot water bottles they would put in that really makes sense. Or the ones with coals. I always wondered how they don't set the bed on fire. But anyway, um, these are so cute. And these ones are like Argyle. And then these ones have little snowflakes on them. So sweet, so considerate. Love those making me happy. All right, next let's pull out some more food. There's more food. Okay, this is a Cadbury. I'm betting that this is an advent calendar. Let's see what it says. Um, it just has Santa. Open Christmas joy here. Okay. Oh, cute. And this is a whole bunch of little Cadbury treats. So I have a double decker. I never heard of that before in my life. I have dairy milk buttons. I have, this one is a dairy milk little bar. This, one, you know what? I'm gonna have to have another bite of this to keep my energy up. Oh my God, this is so good. I need to find out where I can get these in the States because these are amazing. Okay, sorry. Then we have a crunchy, so this is like a sampling of all these amazing Cadbury treats. Cadbury fudge. And this one is a Cadbury whispa. So it's cool whip. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. So in this very cute Santa, I am not gonna taste all those right now because I would be one sick puppy. Um, but yes, those I almost put it on the floor and then I remembered that it's chocolate and the dogs will get into it. And you know, chocolate is poisonous to dogs. Maybe you didn't know that. All right. This next item is from Fordham and Mason. And Fordham and Mason is kind of like Dean and DeLuca um, in the US. If you have ever been to a Dean and DeLuca, it's not even like, it's just a really fancy food store. And I've actually only been in one briefly. I've seen it on Karen's vlogs, but I got these Fordham and Ma Fortnum and Mason, Fortnum and Mason. I feel like people say Fordham and Mason, but it's Fortnum and Mason. Christmas Nutcracker Biscuits for festive tea times. So if you want a festive tea time, this is what you're gonna want. That'd be a good thumbnail right there. Festive tea time. Okay, let's open these up. The, see, this is why this is bad. I mean, it's not bad, it's good. It's just, I mean, come on. Okay, let's see. All right, let's open these bad boys up. Oh. Okay, these are beautiful cookies. 
Okay, I kind of don't wanna open these because I kind of feel like I wanna save them for a special tea time because the thing about everything from Fortnum and Mason is it's usually very spendy. And because they're packaged so beautifully, I am gonna hold off on those. I will, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm actually doing a little bit of a Vlogmas thing over there, but follow me over there and I will promise you guys, I will do either an IGTV video or at least an Instagram story where I will show you me eating one of these because those just look and smell amazing. Laden with rich pistachios, creamy almonds, and sweet cranberries, these festive gluten-free biscuits are delicious enough to bring fighting foes like the Nutcracker and the Mouse King to peace. That is a lot to put on a cookie, but you know, that's all right. They can bring world peace. I believe that's what it said. This cookie can bring world peace, or at least to the Mouse King and the Nutcracker. All right, this next thing is a candle. This is Bobbles, Tinsel, and Fairy Lights, and it just says Christmas Eve candle tin made in the UK. Let's smell this. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. And I don't know what, it has like, hello there. <laughs> it says on the back. Hello there. Handmade in the heart of Somerset, this candle will burn for 30 to 35 hours. Please follow the directions displayed on the inside of the lid carefully to ensure safe use for best results. Please burn the candle for around three hours at a time. And then on the inside, it just has regular candle instructions, never leave a, a burning candle unattended. So that's amazing. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to burn that. Oh my gosh. Such a considerate gift because plus two, not that you can smell it, but it doesn't have, she knows I don't like things that are like super, super perfumey. And this does not smell that way at all. It's got a really clean scent to it. And I can't wait to burn that. That's going to be amazing. Okay. Let's move on to our next gift. Okay. This next thing, it is a gift, but it's also, she did my grocery shopping. <laughs> So I can get Yorkshire tea direct from England. You guys, don't get me started on my whole English tea versus American tea. There are English tea brands that package for the United States, like Twinings, and it does not taste the same, like at all. And there's two problems with Americans and tea. Number one, when you get it in restaurants, they bring you hot water in a tea bag. That will not make tea. In order to make tea, you need boiling water, okay? so. Anyway, it's a whole thing for me and I have to pour the water in right when it's boiling and I have to have tea from England, could be from Ireland. I know there's a tea brand that she loves in Ireland that I'm gonna try next, um, but I do love Yorkshire Gold. She got me hooked on it and when she was putting my box together, she was like, is there anything in particular you want? I'm like, can you run to the, is it the Tesco? and get me some Yorkshire Gold tea because I pay an arm and a leg for it to get it here and it's not that expensive when she buys it. And so here we go, my groceries. Thank you, Karen. Okay, uh, all right, this is, oh, okay, this is called Soap and Glory Mask Force Collection. Mask Force Collection. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> but it's called Soap and Glory, get it? Like Hope and Glory, ah, I love it. So when you open it up, it says, in a rush for radiance, no fear, we've got the Mask Force collection. So it looks like I have lots of different masks in here. I have puffy eye attack, under eye brightening hydrogel patches. I have soap and glory, what is that? I have a peel off one. Okay, these are lovely. And they're in this adorable gift box, very mid-century. Oh, it says on the back, all of the different face masks. Love it. I'm always jealous because she has a sister. Um, well, I have a sister, but she's not here and it's we don't do that kind of thing. She's a lot older, it's a whole thing. But um, Rachel and Karen, Rachel's Karen's sister, they always do that kind of stuff together and it's so fun and I have all boys. So I don't really have anybody to do that kind of thing with and it's just nice, you know, to have that. All right, now we have from Waitrose. So this is Heston from Waitrose. Waitrose is another one of those British stores. They have amazing stuff there, amazing food gifts there. And this is four large spiced mince pies with a lemon twist. Now, 
it was either last year's box or the year before, there was a whole conversation about how mincemeat does not contain meat. And she cracked up because I thought that vegetarians couldn't eat mincemeat and it started this whole online conversation. There is actually no meat in mincemeat, but if you go back to the origins of it, it did have meat in it when it started. It's a very strange thing, as many things are. So, um, four large spice mince pies with a lemon twist. I cannot wait to try these. These are another one I'm going to wait Every time I don't eat something, or eat some of the other thing, mmm, mmm, that is so freaking good. I can't get over that. Okay, so, excuse me, I really should have made some tea to go with these. So, this I'm going to save for Christmas, but those look amazing. I love that they did it with a lemon twist. I feel like that's going to make that super, super yummy. Four zesty mince pies made with spiced short, spiced short crust pastry, richly fruited mincemeat, lemon curd, and a zesty all butter crumble topping. How I love me an all butter crumble topping. All right. Now this next item, oh, it got a little smooshed. It got a little smooshed, but it's okay because I know what it is. This is my Buon Natale to all and to all a good night. This is my fruited panettone. Panettone or panettone? I think it's panettone. Maybe it's panettone. I think it's panettone. Panettone. Um, these are delicious. It is a, got a little bit squished in the move, but it looks so, so pretty. And panettone, you know, we get those here. It's, it's basically kind of like an Italian um, fruitcake, but I think they taste way better. Uh, an Italian cake made with butter, sultanas, and sweet candied orange peel. Delicioso. That's, I mean it is, but that's what it says on the box. And even though it got a little smushed, I think it's going to still taste just as good. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh dear. I'm out of my, I can't take a bite to honor that food because I'm out of my thing. Oh well, we'll just open another one. <laughs> Oh, this one got smushed. Oh, okay. Mmm, okay. So we got that. All right, next up, we have, oh, this is cute. This is a Cadbury tree decoration. She told me that she went overboard on the food this year, and she really, really did. Karen, I know you're trying to eat healthier, so I'm thinking that maybe you just decided to send everything to me. <laughs> so milk chocolate tree decorations. And this is super cute. We're going to go ahead and put this up on the tree because this is making me happy. And it's 2020. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was like a string. So these are individual. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your chocolates. Oh, Christmas tree. How cute is that? And how many of them? A whole bunch are in here. There are nine of them in here. So that is super fun because you know what? It's 2020 and so when you're stressed, you can just eat your Christmas decorations. That's great, I love that. Okay, that was good, I like that a lot. All right, next up we have a Dairy Milk Cadbury Advent Calendar. Now, the whole thing when we were like messaging each other was to get these by December 1st, which is today, um, because this is actually an Advent Calendar. So since it's December 1st, of course I have to open this up I know, like, if this were, um, like, a alcohol-based thing, I would be very snockered by now. Snockered? Is that the word I want? All right, we're going to go ahead and open up day number one, and it says, it's the Christmas countdown! dun 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 Christmas countdown. Mm. You know, they're right. The Cadbury chocolate is better. It just is. That dairy milk chocolate. I have so much stuff in front of me, I can barely move. I'm going to have to consolidate here in a minute. And you know I'm going to do, I'm going to move the box to the floor. And then I'm going to move this stuff over here. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, good. I made myself more room. All right, now we have something from Harrods. Now Harrods, 
is one of my favorite spots on earth. I adore Harrods. I especially adore, I shouldn't say I adore Harrods. Since they changed Harrods to like just the designer um, booths or whatever, arcades, whatever you want to call it, I do still love the Harrods Christmas store. I love the um, Giardelli, the chocolate place they have on the top floor. I love the Christmas shop. And I, I think I already said I love the Christmas shop. And I love the food stalls, especially at Christmas, but really any time of the year. So beautiful, so picturesque. And this is a Herod's Decadent Christmas Pudding, 12 months matured for Christmas Day. Let's read this. Herod's Decadent Christmas Pudding, a real showstopper or decadent Christmas pudding made to a time-honored Herod's recipe is brimming with plump Chilean flame raisins, Greek Vostiza currants, juicy cranberries, Turkish apricots, macadamia nuts, and pecans soaked in cognac, Spanish sherry, and British cider and matured for 12 months. This rich pudding is truly deserving of center stage. That was the worst English accent I have ever heard in my life. But, oh, and the sun just did a weird thing too. That's okay. It's all good. Anyway, so this is my Herod's Decadent Christmas Pudding. This we will save for Christmas Eve per tradition. Um, but it is, I'll show you guys the box so you can see what it looks like. Because she sent me a Christmas pudding last year too. And I absolutely love that. So this is what it looks like. And there's instructions on how to heat it up. And it's going to be... I'm going to go ahead. I'll just show you guys because you really have to understand what we're talking about. There you go. And as we know, I can't have my pudding unless I eat my meat, but I'm a vegetarian, so I guess I can never eat this. If you got that joke, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, become a patron. <laughs> okay. So Christmas pudding, check from Harrods, check. Really thought I was going to get back to Harrods this year, but obviously that was not in the cards. All right, next up we have, geez, Karen. Karen's quest to get me to 600 pounds by New Year's. Okay, signature chocolate collection from Butler's. Now this looks like one of the fancy ones. Oh my goodness, the signature chocolate collection, Butler's, Butler is Ireland's premier family owned firm dedicated to the craft of exceptional chocolate making. Every day, our team of devoted chocolatiers creates unforgettable experiences for you to discover and savor. Savor is spelled S A V O U R. Uh, share our passion for chocolate artistry each time you select Butler's. Okay, I feel like I need to go ahead and try this one. Because I have heard of Butler's and I knew, I think, I don't think I've even heard about it from Karen. I think someone else told me. Um, I hate to cut that little ribbon. Look how cute, but I'm going to. Uh, because now that I have like this chocolate theme going on, I kind of want to taste. I haven't gone for a run today yet. I think I'm going to have to run 43 miles. I'm just kidding. We don't earn our calories. It's the holidays. It's fine. Look how pretty the box is. All right, let's open this up and see what's inside. Ooh, so this is reminding me of like Godiva chocolate, honestly. Look how beautiful these are. These are just lovely. Oh my word. All right, let's just be adventurous. I kind of want to know what this one is right here. So I'm not gonna even look it up. I'm just gonna taste it. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so it's like... It's like a hard shell. And then it has creamy milk or a creamy milk chocolate in the middle. Is it milk chocolate? It's just called chocolate flake. That's what I am. <laughs> okay, that was really yummy. All right, so Butler's chocolate gets two thumbs way up for me. I definitely, I definitely has that Godiva type, like the presentation, the texture, the quality of the chocolate, all of that. So that's really where I would probably rate that. Oh, and I think 
I think that's a Godiva chocolate cafe. It is. It's not. Um, I said it was Giardelli. Of course it's not. It's a Godiva chocolate cafe that's at Harrods. Clarity. You know, in case you go. I don't want to lead you astray. All right. This next thing. Oh. Okay. I was so hoping she would do this. <laughs> she did a Fortnum and Mason advent calendar last year on her channel. And um, I love tea. And I love trying tea from all over the world. So um, I saw her do this on her Vlogmas. She always has like a million different advent calendars that she's opening. And I saw her open this last year and I was like, oh my word. Now the thing about a lot of these advent calendars, they're so big in the UK. They're big here too, but I feel like they're even bigger in the UK. They get sold out. So I know she had to plan for this very far in advance. Oh, just look at the presentation on this box. How beautiful is this? Karen, I feel so loved right now. Seriously. Like, okay. So you have this beautiful bird and it says 24 Fortnum and Mason Tea Lovers Advent Calendar. And you open it up. And since this is the first day of Advent, we can go ahead and open up the first one now. I almost don't want to open it because it's just so beautiful, but I'm going to anyway. And when I saw her open these last year, let's see if I can get this broken away in there. Hold on. Um, she's still drinking some of hers from last year, so I will pro- Oh, I don't want to hurt it. Is there a trick to that, I wonder? Let's see, I think I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so this first one is just Christmas. I don't know why I'm holding it so dramatically. This first one is just Christmas black tea. And they, these tea bags are so fancy and lovely. Here you go. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that beautiful little tea bag. This is definitely happening for me this afternoon with my afternoon tea. And honestly, I cannot wait. There we go. I cannot wait to make this. So such a lovely gift. Oh, you guys. So it just says it's black tea, but it's got something else because it's definitely Christmassy. So definitely having this for tea time this afternoon. So that is going to go right there. How lovely. Okay, and then I will have these to open. Now, again, over on Instagram, I am doing Vlogmas, sort of. I'm just doing quick Instagram stories. So I'll open, I'll add this to what I'm opening every day with you guys over there. Okay, what's next? I can't with this. Okay, next up we have Percy Pig Mary Percy Miss. Now, I don't know much about Percy the pig. I'm going to be really honest. Um, that is a very British thing. These are not chocolate. They're obviously candy made with real fruit juice. We're gonna have to try these. I am gonna have a sugar coma when we are done. Oh, how cute are these? Okay, they are a little Percy pigs. They, they kind of feel like, like gummy bears. That is really good. That is really good. This is riveting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up, we have... Hold, please. Oh, hold on. This might be the groomer. Okay, that was the groomer. Max will be ready in 20 minutes. If you guys want to know why you haven't heard him barking, it's because he's at the groomer. Okay, so next up. Oh, I already took it out. We have the pure butter shortbread gingerbread men. Now, where did my other thing go? We know how I feel about the gingerbread. I am a huge, huge, huge fan to my own detriment. So these, I have never seen Walker's gingerbread before. Of course, I've seen the Walker shortbread, which I love, um, but never gingerbread. And Walker's is a product of Scotland. So yeah, these are yummy. I, I, uh, well, I don't know if they're yummy because I haven't tried them. I think I'm going to wait on these. I was just getting ready to open them and dive into them. But then I thought about all the sugar I've already had. And I think we'll hold off. But um, these are so cute. Oh, well, we have to at least look at one, right? This is like, we have to at least look at one. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, hold on. This is so festive. I did 
not, you know, what a fun thing to have. A good friend that loves you enough to do all of this. Okay, look. Mm, it's so cute. Mmm. It's ginger flavor, but it has a shortbread consistency. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I have ample things to have with my tea for the next several weeks. Oh, yum. Okay, highly, <laughs> two thumbs way up. Okay, those are so good. All right, next up we have, oh, we have a Disney Sitting Mickey from Primark. You guys know how much I love Primark. Obviously, I don't have one near me, but I'm gonna take off his little hat and we are just gonna give, look at that face, you guys. Oh my word, that is a cute Mickey. And he has little rope legs. Look at his cute little legs. Okay, I'm in love with that. Let's put him, look how, come on. Can you even, is that just, the perfect thing right there. You're so cute. Okay, absolutely love it. Love it. All right, what's next? What's next? Moving right along, we have, okay, I can't believe she did this because I did not get her one this year and I kind of feel bad about that. <gasps> Cause she uses the one that I sent her from Georgia all the time. I don't think I even sent her, <sighs> this year was so, like I had such great plans for her box and then things were either closed or I didn't feel comfortable going to them or it's just been, as, as we all know, cuckoo bananas. However, I do not have a You Are Here mug from England and my husband gets them for me all over the world when he travels with his job, but I never bought one in London and I don't have one from England except for I totally do now. So this is beautiful. It says England on it. And I love that it has not just things from London, but you've got this beautiful little thatched roof country house. You've got, and it's all in gold. You've got the tower on there, Christmas trees. I didn't, it's Christmas themed and it's got a red handle. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Karen, I will use this all year round. This is such a sweet addition to my collection. I absolutely love it. Such a kind gift. Oh my gosh, and I don't have one of those, so now I'm really happy. All right, next up we have tea cakes, six tea cakes from Tonics. Tonics? Never heard of them before. Still a family business. So now I have to check and see they are from Scotland. So she must have bought, okay, it's all coming together for me now. She went to Scotland um, right before the last lockdown, whichever one that was, who cares? At some point in the last several months, she went to Scotland. And so that must be where she got me the other chocolates and also this. Look at this packaging. Like how amazing is this? It's very like Harry Potter. And I am going to save these. They are uh, tea cakes, so I will save them for tea. Why not try our dark chocolate tea cakes? Why not? Established in 1890, a delicious biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. And look, there's a picture of the actual store right there. So now that gives me a place I'm gonna have to go and visit because Scotland's on my list. I've never been to Scotland either. So Ireland and Scotland, I am going to be both of those places as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, that's just beautiful. 34 Old Mill Road, Uddingston G717HH, Scotland, in case you wanna send them a note. There you go. So pretty. Okay, cannot wait to try those. Okay, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there, you guys, we're getting there. Then we have extremely chocolatey milk chocolate rounds, and these are M&S Foods. Now, M&S Foods, I'm gonna have to think, I don't think it's a Primark thing. I'll have to look up M&S, and I feel like maybe I should know that, but these are extremely chocolatey. She has sent me approximately 30,000 calories in this box. I wonder if they made her put that on the customs form. Okay, these are more chocolate than biscuit. It's like me. More chocolate than biscuit. <laughs> Sugar starting to kick in. Saving those for Christmas, but let's open them up just in case. Because I've shown you everything else, so we should open them up. Okay, yeah, these are these little chocolate rounds. Those look super yummy. I cannot wait to try those. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Okay, 
And then in the bottom, I'm feeling something heavy. What is this? What is this? This is Light Grove Organic Brandy Butter. Perfect with mince pies, compulsory with our pudding. Compulsory, meaning you have to have it with their pudding. So this will go beautifully with this. Now bring us some figgy pudding, which is not figgy, I don't think, but it's Christmas pudding. Now bring us some Christmas pudding and brandy butter. Wow. Okay, I want to see what the texture is on this, because I don't know if it's like to be, if it, if it just has like a butter texture. Look how pretty the packaging is on that. Who makes this? Light Grove Organic. Oh yeah. Okay, so it almost, I wish you guys were in here with me right now because that, you can smell the brandy. Like it just filled this entire room with the smell of brandy. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Can I do this? I think I can. Oak, um. <laughs> First of all, this is boozy butter. I didn't know boozy butter was a thing, but I'm a fan. And it tastes amazing. And I'm going to put this on everything. <laughs> I, I, mm hmm this is, I didn't even know this was a thing. Never heard of this, did not know it was a thing. And it now has become my number one favorite thing of all time. I must now have a full thing of brandy butter with me at all times. Oh my God. Okay. And now we are moving on to, all right, so Harrods has this Winnie the Pooh collection. Last year, Karen spent too much money on me and sent me the Winnie the Pooh Harrods uh, crossbody bag. I have not even had an opportunity to use it yet, which is make me really sad. Like I've had it packed for a couple of different Disney trips that have been canceled. It actually has a place of honor in my closet. And so I feel like this gift is hope for what happens next in our lives, that there will be lots of travel and lots of opportunities for me to use this bag. But it is this gorgeous Harrods Winnie the Pooh bag. I am swooning over this bag. Okay, so you can only buy this through Harrods. And when I got back from my last trip to England, I had really wanted um, the bag. I didn't buy it. I tried to find it online. It was ridiculous. The shipping was more than the item, but it is this adorable tote. You've got Harrods on the front. I don't know if that's gonna read. Let me push, let me put that in focus. Look at like this beautiful pencil sketching of Harrods in London with Winnie the Pooh and a balloon. Oh. And then on the other side, you have Winnie the Pooh just repeated with all of his balloons and his clouds. This is, oh, there's something inside. Okay. So first of all, it's a tote. It's a generous size tote. So perfect size shopping tote. And inside she put treats for the babies. Okay, so for my two dogs, we have these Kong Cozies. Oh, it squeaks though. Oh my God, Walter just woke up. Walter, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna show it to Walter. Do you wanna see? What's this? What's it? Oh, what is this? What is that? Is that for you? Karen, he is a big fan. Now, Max, I'm getting ready to pick up at the groomer, so Max won't get to see his. Do you love it? Is that the one you want? Is Okay, I'll take the packaging off and you can have it. Just promise me you won't. Okay, I don't want to cut you. We'll do that in a minute. We'll do that in a minute, okay? Do you like it? Oh my gosh, Karen, good job. He loves it so much. So this one is a little reindeer. And then this one is a little lammy. Since your brother isn't here, you probably could get away with seeing which one you want. <gasps> no, you don't want that. Hey, that's so funny. Do you like that one? You like that one? 
Okay, I'm gonna have to unpack it. Hold, hold on, Walter's freaking out. So yeah, this bag is absolutely beautiful. It is open inside. It is a perfect size shopper tote for me. I absolutely love it. Karen, once again, you have outdone yourself. Everything is beautiful. Um, Walter is now gonna make me crazy because <laughs> I've released the Kraken or something. I don't know. Um, I have so many goodies and treats now. I feel like these are gonna get us through the entire holiday season. Happy, well-fed, well-caffeinated. I love absolutely everything. And the best part about it is I know that everything you sent, you thought about, and it, it just represents our friendship, and I'm so grateful for you. So, I'm also grateful for all of you. When Karen puts up her video, I will make sure and promote it on all of the things and you'll get to see what I sent to her. She did a better job than I did. She always does a better job than I do. Um, but nonetheless, mine was sent with love as well. And you know, this year, more than ever, I think we can all be grateful for friends near and far, for people that we love, priorities that, you know, it's when you go through something like what we've all been through as, as a, as, not as a country, but as the whole world, it does help you remember what's really important in life. And what we learned today is what's really important is friendship and chocolate and brandy butter. <laughs> I'll leave you guys there. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. Also make sure you check out my other lifestyle channel. I'll have a Christmas home tour coming up over there, probably the end of this week. So I hope I'll see you over there as well. Take care. I'll see you really soon. And please be really good to each other. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll see you next time. Bye.